Hello YouTube. It's Chris, where's O'Brien's? Hope everyone's doing well and having a good uh, bank holiday, May Day weekend. Uh, I'm just in the workshop playing with some Dublins. Uh, no power tools this weekend because um, it's not the done thing to make a noise when everyone's trying to have a relaxing weekend. So uh, just been finishing off some Dublins or getting them close to finished. And um, just waiting for some oil to go off and thought I'd do a video, show you them. And I'm smoking a capstan flake, same tin that was open the other week. Nearly finished it now, uh, but it's been really, really nice to have some aged tobacco on the go. Definitely makes a difference, doesn't it? So, um, yeah. Smoking it in my own Dublin. So, uh, what have I got to show you? Well, I'm kind of um, stocking up for the Nottingham Pipe Show, as I've mentioned enough times probably now. <laughs> but um, also doing my commissions. So, a chap called Dominic. Uh, in America, wanted a Dublin, uh, and he told me to go for it, do what I want to do, which was nice. So I, there's a stem material that I've had in stock for a while, and I've just never used it. Um, so I thought I'd give it a go, uh, and I quite I quite like it. It's the Eldritch Cumberland Blue, but it's with white instead of black. So this is obviously the bluer end. But it's quite jazzy and I've just stained it with a tan. I think um, you have to go with something that sort of uh, complements the blue. So orangey colours and yellow colours complement blue. And I decided against the yellow because there's white in the stem. I just thought it would be a bit, uh, a bit too much. So I've gone for the tan stain and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Nice taper all the way down to the button, which is my style. Yeah, so um, that's ready for him. Uh, on the road to making that for him, I, uh, I started one, decided against the stem material for him. Uh, I'm just waiting for the oil to uh, cure a bit on this one. And uh, it's a smaller, smaller Dublin as well. Uh, when I was shaping, I came across a sand pit, so I thought I'd size it down, uh, which is what I did. And uh, the result is this quite elegant, natural Dublin. Uh, the oil brings really brings the grain out nicely, so you need to you need to have good grain to go for a natural. Um, and this one does. So I've gone for it after, and you know, after sort of three or four applications of oil, that's really gonna pop. And this is the um, first time I've used this one as well. I, uh, one of my trial rods from Chris, uh, when he was doing the, um, the new range, uh, mixed with, um, mixed with white, and I think some lighter pink as well. This is the rose. Can't remember what he called it. Someone, someone will be able to tell me. But it's it's kind of cool. Sort of semi-translucent. Really like it actually. And uh, Dominic sort of said, "Oh, do you want me to buy the the pink one as well?" And I sort of said, "Well, only if you like it. <laughs> um, I'm sure I can sell it." And I'm building up a stock for um, for the pipe show. So. Uh, this one may well be at the pipe show. So, if you look at them together, you can see how I've sort of shaved it down. I mean, this is, to my mind, this is an elegant pipe, so this one's super, super elegant, nice and light. So there's that one, and this one. And then while I was at it, I thought, well, I'll make another one 
I've made a normal one, what I would consider to be one of my normal ones. I've made a slimmed down version, so I've I've beefed one up as well. <laughs> I try to maintain my style throughout. But this one I think I'm I'm going to Bruno's next week at some point, so I think I'm gonna sandblast this one at Bruno's if I get the opportunity. And this is with the um the purple. What did he call this one? Ultraviolet wave? Ultraviolet wave. So there we go, Dublin's galore. I think I'll leave the the rim uh, flat and sandblast the rest. It's got some um, some ring grain going on and things, so it could be quite interesting to blast this. Anyway, so that's what I've been doing. Uh, pot rim, really. So I'll um, take some photos of that finished one. I'll stick it up on my Facebook and my Instagram and everywhere that I uh, usually post things. Mm. Kind of dismal and cloudy here, but still um, warm enough. I was chatting with Bruno the other night. He's having a great time at the um, Chicago Pipe Show. It seems to be a really good one for uh, collectors, pipe smokers, and uh, pipe makers alike. It seems that uh, it's a good one for, for sort of sales and orders. So I might have to try and get myself over there in the next couple of years. Be a great experience as well. Anyway. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and uh, I'll be back in touch when I finish my next pipe. All the best then. Take care.